Eartha, you look nice and dressed perfectly for a hockey game. What do you say you want to go? I will not be your arm, Candice. You can pretend to have a trophy girlfriend. <laughs> Besides, I have a date tonight. Jalapena. This is big. Now, this is bigger than big. This is huge. Will you calm down? It's just a date. Actually, it's a second date. Praise the Lord! Oh, my God. Wow. What happens when she gets a third date? No idea. For all we know, the earth could split open. <laughs> For your information, I can have all the second, third, or tenth dates I want. I just happen to be very picky. Well, I'm not picky. I take anybody to the game with me. CJ, you want to go? I get you a bobblehead doll. <laughs> Kevin! I want to hear more about Eartha's boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend yet. We still haven't gone on a Saturday night date, and that's how you know you're in a relationship. That or when the pregnancy test comes back positive. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I need somebody to go to the game with me tonight. Why don't you just call a friend? Um, because friends come and go. But family, <laughs> family is forever. In other words, you have no friends. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I have lots of friends. I just don't have any in Philadelphia, but there's a good reason for that. I mean, I've only been here a little while. It's not like I live on campus. And it doesn't help that I got a 6 o'clock dinner curfew. I mean, I can use your help here, you know? Lengthen the leash a little, give me a chance to meet some people I really connect with. Hmm. I understand, and I'm sure I can work something out to help you. Well, thank you, Aunt Tina, because it's just a matter of time, you know? People love me. Back in L.A., they didn't call me Kevin Hart. They called me Kevin Parte Harte. That was when you still had money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat until Kevin gets home. Well, it better be soon, because if my blood sugar drops, I lose the ability to think clearly. Has it been dropping since second grade? <laughs> ah. Hey, what is wrong with you? It's almost 7 o'clock. That's right. I should be suffering from heartburn by now. Wait a minute. I thought you said I could have some extra hang time at school to meet some people. I said no such thing. So when you said that we could work something out, what do you mean? I'll show you. Lamont? Kevin, this is your new friend, Lamont. Uh, what? It's nice to meet you. You know, your aunt told me you were lonely, but you had a friend all along, Kevin, and his name is Jesus. Oh, uh, so you can go then. <laughs> she told me you were funny. Well, so am I. All right, who's your favorite apostle? John, Paul, or Ringo? What? Oh! <laughs> Aunt Tina, can I, uh... Can I... Can I speak to you for a minute? Go ahead. In the kitchen. <laughs> Aunt Tina, I can't believe you... I can't believe you fixed me up on a blind date with the guy. Isn't he great? I'm sorry, but doesn't it seem a little, uh, gay to you? <laughs> gay? What's gay about two lonely boys getting together for a night of fun? <laughs> okay, look, Antine, um, I really appreciate your effort here, but this... Uh, uh this this ain't gonna work. <laughs> How do you know? You just met him. Because his psycho smile clashes a little with his serial killer eyes. <laughs> Look, just give it a chance. If it doesn't work out, there are plenty of other fish in the church. But I think you guys may just hit it off. Fine. Fine. <laughs> There was a man who is our Lord, and Jesus is his name. Oh, J E S U S J E S U S U S and Jesus is his name. Oh, Kevin, take it. As hall monitor and security guard, reflexes are critical. Try and snatch this hall pass from my hand. <laughs> All right.
Right. You two clear up on out of here. Your sister's future husband will be here any minute now. Wow. A third date with the same guy? Did she talk during the first two? <laughs> I'm as shocked as you are. Hey, but when the Red Sea parts, you don't ask no questions, just march on through. Now, both of you, march. Ooh. Tell me the truth. Does this outfit make me look too brazen? Maybe for a Taliban girl, but probably not. Stop it, Clarence. You don't want her to look easy. No! But I want her to look reasonable. Daddy. Ooh, that's him. I get it. No, 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 no. I'll get it. And please go away. I don't want you to ruin this for me. You're like boyfriend poison. Go. Daddy. Hello. Hi. So I'm a little early. It's okay. I understand. You couldn't wait to see me. You're only human. Come on in. So, um... Go in, watch TV, and I'll be right there. Hey! 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 You must be Kevin or Martin, man. I, 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 I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, I bet she did tell you a lot. Uh, look, I'm sorry if you got railroaded into this. Oh, I didn't get railroaded. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's your favorite Bible passage? Oh, oh, what a save! Hey, the Flyers, you like hockey? Oh, I love it. It's nice seeing white guys chasing each other with six for a change. <laughs> Wait a minute. I never thought I'd meet another brother in Philly who liked hockey. <laughs> what's next, a white girl named Shamika? <laughs> <laughs> Where was you at Friday, man? I was dying to go to the game. Oh, I was there. My dad had season tickets. It was incredible. Look, Ronick hit Paul Korea so hard, he skated off the ice looking like a bobblehead doll. He was like... I do bobbleheads too. Oh, see, so you got it. Yeah, see, you you much more bobbleistic than me, man. <laughs> oh, come on, break away! Hey! Break it, break hey! It. Oh, whoa! What what happened at the reception? Somebody in Philadelphia probably using a hair dryer. Hey, you wanna go down to the sports bar, catch the rest of the hockey game? After that, the Sixers are playing the Lakers. Already have dinner reservations. Dinner? Come on, what's fun about that? Let's go to the sports bar. It's much more casual. That's true. But are you sure you shouldn't go upstairs and make sure it's okay with you? Of course it's okay with her. It was her idea. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> you know, baby, I sure could use me a cold glass of why hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't know we had company. <laughs> hello, Martin. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland. Kevin, I see you've met Martin. Isn't he terrific? Yeah, and he's a huge hockey fan, too. And unlike Lamont, he doesn't say grace before eating a breath mint. <laughs> If you guys will excuse me, uh, I gotta take two minutes in the old uh, penalty box, but uh, feel free to flatter me behind my back. <laughs> two minutes in the penalty box! <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> That's my boy right there, T. I gotta say, that guy's a keeper. <laughs> oh, look at my baby girl. Oh, is that a new sweater? It looks great. I know when you say, it looks great, that's just a guy code for, they look great. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it if you would limit your incestuous glances. She's taken, boy. And I don't need no three-headed grandchildren. And look, you two, I told you I don't want you down here. This date is very oh. important. I don't want you messing it up. Go. OK, ready to go? Great. great. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, Kevin's coming with us. Said it was your idea. Look, I'm parked like three streets over. I'll go ahead, get the car, pick you guys up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? That's your date? Yeah, and you invited yourself. What you got to say for yourself, boy? Um, shotgun. <laughs> Good idea. I'll go get it. What were you thinking horning in on my date? I didn't know. OK, I thought Martin was another friend Aunt Tina fixed me up with. How could you think Martin was here for you? Uh, because he's totally my type. OK, he's smart. He's funny. He has great shoes. And I've really got to find a non-gay way to talk about this. <laughs> oh, please, you knew I had a date tonight because I mentioned it at the table. I don't pay attention to all that talk at dinner. <laughs> all I hear is the sound of my arteries congealing. All the people to be friends with. You gotta pick the one guy in America who likes Eartha. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, Kevin? <laughs> I can't believe you, Kevin, upsetting my sister like this. You want me to hack up him to the radiator? I told you, CJ. 
Handcuffs are not a toy. That's why they stay right here in my belt. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> Damn it. This is my third date. It's crucial. If Martin doesn't ask me out for a Saturday night soon, it's clear that this relationship is going nowhere. OK, look, I'm sorry. It's just a misunderstanding. OK, I'll just make him an excuse. I won't go. No, no, no. Martin will see right through that, and I'll just look all desperate and clingy. She's right, but he's got to know the truth sometime. <laughs> Earth is right. You have to go with them now. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Okay, wait a minute. Look, look, this is actually good, okay? I'll take some of the pressure off. In fact, you know what? I guarantee she gets another date on Saturday night. I guarantee it. I hope so. You better not mess this up for her. Mess it up? Please. I'm an expert on relationships. I haven't missed one episode of The Bachelor. In fact, <laughs> I guarantee you will be getting your rose tonight. <laughs> yeah, don't say stuff like that on a date. Come on. Hey, Warren, you want to come play cards? Sure. <laughs> CJ! as good as Eartha, am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I work hard to look better than a seven-foot, 300-pound bald man. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> you do look nice. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that cheerleader. Which one? The one with the booze bigger than her head? Yeah, yeah, we used to go to the same church. Well, apparently her prayers have been answered. <laughs> <laughs> Not to name drop, but one time I met Maya Angelou's cousin, really down to earth, just like you and me. Well, except for the missing hand. <laughs> Well, there you go. Hey, so what are you going to have? Well, I was going to have chicken fingers, but now I think I'll go with something a little less hand like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh! Oh, I was just Ooh. laughing in Shaq's face. Hey! Hey! Ah! Ah! Oh, did you see that? Yeah, that was uh, something else. Oh, do you like basketball? No, I think it sends the wrong message to inner city youth that uh, sports are the pinnacle of achievement instead of uh, education or community service. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all are like a comedy team. You know, you set them up and you knock them down. <laughs> you know what? Kevin, I have tickets to the Flyers Kings game. You want to go? Are you kidding me? When's the game? <laughs> Saturday, man. Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what am I thinking about? I'm, I'm actually busy Saturday night. Hey, but you know, you should take Arthur. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to go? I would love to go out on Saturday, but um, instead of the hockey game, the Women's Theater Coalition is doing an all-female production of 12 Angry Men. <laughs> Let's do that instead. Um, OK. Great. OK. Excuse me while I freshen up. Freshen up? <laughs> she killed me, man. She's funny. <laughs> hey, Kevin, can I be honest with you, man? Yeah. I see what you're trying to do, and that's, that's like, real cool of you, but... Me and Eartha, it's just not working out. What? Why not? Well, I mean, I thought it'd be, you know, different, a change of pace to go out with somebody smart and interesting, but she's just so serious. I know. Seriously, fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is all my fault. Not seriously, because I dragged y'all out here, you know, but you can understand, this isn't her element. You know, she, she's, she likes museums and, and poetry readings and protesting the death penalty. And I'm not really helping right now, am I? No, no, not so much. OK, why, why don't you do this then? Just go out with her one more time on Saturday night. I mean, come on now, that's what America's about, second chances. You do consider yourself an American, don't you? Actually, I'm Canadian. Work with me here, man. <laughs> Look, it's just not going to happen. But if you want to come with me to the game on Saturday, I got no plans now. So. When do you plan on telling her? I'm not. You know, we only gone out like a few times. I'm just not going to call her. She'll get the idea. Well, maybe that's how they break up in Canada. But here in America, we date women until they get tired of us. 